The recent discoveries of unmarked graves of Indigenous children across Canada has shown many Canadians the atrocity that is the residential school system. One has to remember that residential schools are but one of many aspects of colonization. There is also a dislocation of Indigenous people from their traditional territories, where many of our people were removed from their homelands. The banning of our traditional ceremonies was another aspect of colonization. Our batlets is our governmental structure and is crucial to carrier and Sikani culture. Without the batlets, our social and economical well-being plummeted. The impacts of residential school are real and continue to this day. The number of those who are affected by homelessness continues to rise, a number of which is disproportionately made up of Indigenous people. When Cary Sikani Family Services was born over 30 years ago, many of our elders saw a need to construct a healing centre based on carrier and Sikani values and philosophies of medicine. Today, Cary Sikani Family Services is seeing that vision through. We have purchased the former Tachik Lake Resort, located within the traditional territory of the Sykes First Nation. Here, the healing centre that our elders desperately wanted for the Cary and Sikani people will be built. The Tachik Lake Healing Centre will accommodate for the many stages of healing, including detox, long-term treatment, and aftercare. In 2016, the Provincial Health Officer of British Columbia declared a public health emergency due to the overwhelming number of people who were dying from the use of toxic drugs. Today, Indigenous people are dying at six times the rate of non-Indigenous people in British Columbia. This overrepresentation of Indigenous people affected by the toxic drug crisis is a direct result of residential schools. To help us realize this crucial healing center, we need the participation and partnership of the federal and provincial governments. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission recommended that the federal government provide funding for new and existing healing centers devoted to addressing physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual harms from residential schools. In order to build an efficient and medically sound healing center that our elders wanted for our people, the estimated cost is $17 million. The Tachik Lake property is the perfect setting for a healing center. The center will overlook the lake, which provides a peaceful scene that will help restore a sense of healing. You can feel the spirit of our ancestors, who will always be with us in our healing journey. It is so fitting that this center will be built on the traditional land of the Sykes First Nation. Sykes elders have been instrumental in helping Indigenous people move forward and regain control over our governance, our lives, and our health. We know that the late Sykes elder Selena John, the first elder advisor for Cary Sikani Family Services, is smiling down on us as we pursue this crucial work at Touch Lake. <laughs>